better than the original if you ask me, sorry, but that's my opinion. You see the nevers are so smooth. I think one thing that no teacher has said that I got, I'm going to say here is Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel So what we have today, more is Amon What did I just watch on TikTok? A beautiful rendition of Morisette Amon. It was just a little tiny snippet. And I'm like, that is so beautiful. I haven't reacted to her in a long time. Then I saw David Foster on the piano and I was, oh my goodness, this is the dream of every Filipino singer. David Foster on the piano singing his legendary songs. And you know, I think the last time we had this combo that was with Char Char Charisse, wasn't it? Oh yes, I'm so, 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 so excited to see what is going on in this universe of Morizette, David Foster, great, great compilation, best call-up, it's the best call-up ever. She looks stunning, stunner, beautiful dress. Beautiful. Just a little small stop. I love the violins that were coming up in the back. Nothing beats like a real acoustic, beautiful big band, orchestra, any band life situation. I think nothing else beats this more because you can really clearly hear how the music comes together beautifully. And she looks an absolute stunner, beautiful dress, so elegant, so classy. And most of the time, she's kind of very airy. So sometimes when she's airy, I'm like, oh, don't, don't, your vocal folds, your vocal folds, because you know, a lot of air is not good for your vocal folds. Okay, let's continue. Beautiful. What I also feel is that she's using much more English vowels. You have English vowels and then you have American vowels and every language has different producing of the vowels. Also in German, the German sound is such so much more in the back, Arabic language so much more in the back and the sound is produced by the by the root of the tongue, by a different position of your of your larynx, of your soft palate. So there's a lot of things that comes to to play when you when you speak in this and sing in a different language. Now I hear her more a little bit lower larynx, a different kind of Vowel modification here. Let's see if that changes. Beautiful man. She's wow, so much dynamic. Wow, this is better than the original, if you ask me. Sorry, but that's my opinion. Staying behind it. Wow. It's her song. Boy, eh, Okay, small little stop. You know, I think one thing that no teacher has said that I got, I'm going to say here is the major difference between her and different singers that I hear all the time is her play with volume. She has different volume dynamics. So you and this is a is this is masterclass edition. This is being a vocalist because a vocalist and that was the same with Mariah Carey, the coordinated onsets, that's what you call the coordinated play of your vocal folds, of the mass, 
Now she's she's not loud loud. A lot of guys are just loud. They are belting very loud. But it's the idea of smoothing it out once you start the belt, smoothing it out once you finish your belt. It's the play of dynamics. It's what makes you a vocalist. It's monitoring your volume. It's not I'm I'm belting. Most of the time when people sing this, they're just very loud and it's unpleasant. It's unpleasant to hear. Now you clearly can hear that she is going from, she's smoothing. Did you notice that she's barely breathing? She's smoothing around all the time. This is what is the job of the singer. If the singer is fantastically good, this is a major difference. And you can hear that, that it's very pleasant. She's bringing it back and then she's going into it again and then she's bringing it back. Top notch. Yeah. You see the nevers are so smooth. Fantastic. Bend is very good. Wow, I have I'm having goosebumps all over the back. Very great. Goosebumps, goosebumps on my legs. Amazing. A slide up, a slide up. Oh, that was. She is de definitely capable of even more extending. We, we know this already, that she's capable of extending every note that she she wants to do, she can do it. And this is crazy, this is absolutely crazy. Um, very nice top up. Unexpected, nice top up. A lot of singers can't even go that high. One thing for you in terms of belting, why is it for you difficult to belt? It starts with where are you grown up? What is your mother language? It, was it normal for you to be loud in, in your home? Or in Germany, for example, you are not allowed to be home. It's unpleasant. You have to speak quiet. You cannot speak up. It's um, inappropriate. It's unpolite to be loud in total. Now, my mother is from Russia and that's completely opposite. They are loud, they are in your face and this is a major huge difference and that makes something with your vocal folds and that makes something with how you are producing your sound and how are you moving your sound. What is the music that you hear uh, when you were a child? Now if you got introduced to Mariah Carey and Whitney Houston you obviously will try to sing along to those divas and this is how you will explore more being loud. Now a lot of younger girls that come here and they are teenagers, they have Billie, uh, Billie Eilish as their favorite singer and they have difficulties to get into volume because they are used into that very, very small sound, small effort, microphone and it's very crisp. So they will not, they have difficulties to sing like Adele. They want to sing like Adele but they have difficulties. This is a, it's a huge thing if you consider to bells besides the technical part, right? You have to also think about what is it, how I use being socialized to being loud because in order to belt, you have to get loud. You have to sing loud in order to belt. You have to speak loud in order to belt. <sighs> Shall we continue our journey and see what we have more in stock with? <laughs> That's what more we said, Emma, and I can't believe this is the best duo this year. Year starts good because we have the best duo. Let me know in the comment section did you think the original singer, she was an American Idol, I think. Who was better? Her? I, I, better is that a question. Whom do you prefer in, in terms of taste? Because in technical parts, I think they're all great and good. But I, I like women overall that have a darker timbre. 
and that darker sounds and that more warm sound into it. I like that more. Don't forget to watch this video. I just reacted to the TNT boys. They made a reunion and I was like, mm, so nice to see them again. And there is another video of my first time reaction to Morris and Amon, which is 2018. That's three, four years ago, guys. Go and jump on this video. Hashtag weaponize your voice, get strong and kick ass.